Let's find out what's trending online this weekend. TV6's Molly Birch is at the TV6 digital desk. Molly. Well, SpaceX launched another batch of Starlink satellites into orbit this morning. The Falcon 9 rocket, carrying 22 internet satellites, lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 2 in the morning Pacific Time. That's around 5 in the morning Eastern Time or 4 a.m. Central Time. It was the seventh flight for the first stage booster supporting this mission, which previously launched Space Development Agency's Trench Zero mission. The first stage booster has now launched six Starlink missions. Starlink satellites provide internet services to parts of the world. SpaceX recently announced that it signed op over 2 million subscribers in more than 60 countries for its Starlink internet service. Since, since 2019, it has launched more than 5,100 satellites. The service is available in the Upper Peninsula starting at $120 per month. Clint? Another option for those looking to for uh, internet for sure, Molly. Yes, absolutely. And in other trending online news, nature lovers are mourning the loss of the largest and oldest tree in North America today. A drone flight from a month ago shows the tree standing tall in Bob Woodruff Park in Plano, Texas. The bur oak was estimated to be 400 years old. That's older than the United States. Arborist Steve Hauser has been trying to save the tree for years with fertilizer and careful pruning. He even placed four large bolts to hold the oak's splitting trunk together. He found it toppled over on Wednesday after a storm and says it's the result of flooded soil and time. An urban forester for the city of Plano says they are disappointed after doing, quote, everything they could to keep this tree alive. Experts say they don't know yet if they can save pieces of the tree to be repurposed. A tree that stood watch over 400 years of history finally met a storm it could not weather. Clint? Well, the end of an era to be sure. Thank you, Molly.